Crafty Nana here. Um, I haven't had a chance to film for a couple of days. It's been a bit crazy. We're headed into the school holidays and so I get pretty full on. Um, I just wanted to share with you that some of my uh, students have been making um, shrines as well. So this one is going to be, this is the Weasley's House, the Burrow, and this is the Mirror of Versailles. Um, this one she's making a Hufflepuff, that's why it's a yellow, and she's going to put the shelves inside and miniature potion bottles. This one is making a little, there's a little Hegwig in there, a little, a little owl, um, owl on here. She's made dangles, there's the dangles to go on the bottom there. We're going to make Painter Moon here. I think she's talking about having a, a wand and a, or maybe a broomstick across the top. But I just love the fact that they're all having a go. And there's another one that's doing the castle design that I did. She saw it in my book and she said, yep, yeah, I'm going to have a go at that. Um, I will probably still um, have a go at that one myself, just because obviously I designed it and I fancy doing it and I think it will look great. Um, so I have to find out how to make some really cool little uh, potions bottles. Potions bottles, um, I'm not, I can get the little tiny glass ones, although it's not easy to get large quantities of them. I have sent off to the sun, but when you buy things online, you never quite know what you're gonna get or what size they're gonna be. So this was the one I designed here for the Hogwarts one. And inside, it's all little potions bottles. So I had this idea as you do in the middle of the night, that if I got um, the colourful glass twizzle sticks, these things, you know, that you get with your drinks. I don't know why I've gone upside down, but I'm upside down. So, oh, there, there I am. You know, these twizzle th sticks that you get with for your drinks. The bottom looks very much like the glass chemistry bottles that are the round ones that you sit in the things to, to fill full of potions. So I thought to myself, I bet I could make potions bottles out of these. So how am I going to do this? You can't just cut into this plastic because it will just splinter and break and then it's no good to anybody. So really you've got to melt it first. So I found that if I melted it, I can cut it really quite easily, which is nice. Just I brought up the lighter and now I can't see it. I'm right done with it. Hang on one second, I've got to go find it again. Okay, so here we go. Melt, 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 melt. Not too long, otherwise it'll turn to liquid. Cut it off. Right, then heat up again. Just the end. If you've got a surface that will not burn, you just push down so you get a little glass rim on the edge of your bottle so that it looks like it's a little apothecary's bottle like that. Okay, now I was thinking I might need to add some little stoppers to these bottles and I had a few beads here so um, that would be add a drop of glue and I'm just thinking the best glue for this would probably be Yoohoo. Probably Yoohoo or a little bead on the top to make it look like it's stopper. Um, it's got to be tiny and that is tiny. So I've already made, I've got some ready-made bottles. I want to take the plastic stoppers out of these because I just think the plastic just does not look cool. The plastic looks cheap and nasty so I'll put little corks in those. Um, I found one little like wine bottle but I think if you have all your bottles the same it's going to look pretty boring. Um, some of these ones come with and they've actually got like glow in the dark powder inside which I think will be quite cool. So again I put a little cork in that and then that powder literally is glow in the dark powder which should be quite interesting. Um, so yeah and I've made a whole load of these all different colours, different sizes different shapes, Coolio Coolio, so I'm quite pleased with those. Um, I think they will look, once you put a group of them together, they will look, we've got some red ones, some yellow ones, what are the colours? Red, orange, oh that's a very bright orange there. Um, yeah, just so that they'll look like little experiments, little 
poison bottles. I'm going to put maybe put some stands on some of them so they're a slightly different shape. But all in all, I'm quite pleased with those. So a lot of the stirrers that had no use have now become little tiny potions bottles for Harry Potter, for the Harry Potter shelves. Um, but also, I'm making with one of my students. She actually wanted to make a potions class. So we've actually made a start. Um, she's made a stained glass window uh, with um, potions drawn on it. Um, we've made a dresser to put all our potions on. I don't know if you can see in there, it's quite dark. I'll take the lid off, ooh, that helps a bit. Um, again, you see this nasty pink stoppers. We've made a little black cauldron. I might like fill it full of bubbles coming out the top so it looks like it's actually got things on. There's a little mortar and pestle there for, for grinding things up, but yeah. I've made a little picture for the wall with a world map because I think every classroom should have a, at least have a map. Made little wands here waiting to go in. This is going to be the tabletop when it's the other way up. I've got pages for books, for spells. So I'm going to get her to put all those together and build her classroom. She's already started painting the outside of it. Um, you can see the window from the outside. So yeah, we've, we've got quite a lot of potter heads in this room, which is probably why I have the raven claw on the door, just to make them feel at home. So yeah, we'll be getting on with that. We'll be getting on with our shrines um, and I've still got to get on with mine. Um, so yeah, good start. I will come back having cleared up some space ready to do my stuff. Uh, now I have used the same um, ideas that I use for the perfume bottles. Uh, for making stands and things so you look at the the monster high perfume bottle one the making of um rebecca's um studio um laboratory where i've done all the shelves with the stuff it's the same kind of thing i'm not going to do it all over again but i'll show you what i've done so far you can see how it's turning out they need some more labels on them uh, but it's coming along nicely uh, the cauldron needs to be filled with little bubbles um, it needs some spell books it needs some wands it needs all sorts of other things but any anyway so here you can see the start of it you can see that's going to look just fine um, i'll let the kids make the labels and stick them all on um, i'll cut out a few more corks and then they can put, replace the rest of those plastic lids and um, i'll let them add all the bubbles in the cauldron but yeah as you can see it's the same same but it's good fun and it's really interesting i like the way that these little round bottles have worked out they look really cool with their little stoppers on and a little stand so they stand up i put a little skull bottle in there because you know what potion shelf is complete without a skull somewhere so yeah all of those are in there they're starting to look really cool um, it's amazing what you can do with a bit of rubbish so you know i hope this inspires you um this is literally just a centurion um vitamin pill box this is like a plastic tray that you get your picture pins in this is two chopsticks this is a bit of clay and a bit of plastic lid chucked in the front there just to make it look a bit architectural i you know you can buy all these little wooden pieces i haven't actually used this one because i've only got one that's this shape but yeah you can get all sorts of little bits of wooden stuff that you can add on and um, have fun with it it's really cool to do um i'm gonna now try and get on with something else i've got um i have a student who's working on uh the pj mask characters coming in a minute so i will have to stop what i'm doing but yes it's good fun there's plenty of my tutorials out there and other people's i've still got all these spare coming along nicely so we'll carry on with this um and until it's finished in the meantime i'm going to sign out for now and i'll catch you later bye <music>